In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to boost your FPS in Valorant in 2024. So, if you're playing on a shitty toaster, you, my friend, have come to the right place. So, before your PC burns down, let's start the tutorial. Before you optimize, you should always create a system restore point. You can do this either via Windows or use Hone's backup system. Once created, you should be good to go. Now, let's load into Valorant and let me give you some good settings. So, in here, you should always set display mode to full screen. This will not only give you the most amount of FPS, but it will also make your game feel more responsive. Then, you should turn off all FPS limitations. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you should turn NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode to on. Then, let's go to the Graphics Quality tab. As a first, you're gonna see the multi-threaded rendering. To utilize your CPU the best way possible, you should turn this on. And for the rest, simply follow me. We're gonna turn Material Quality to Low, Texture Quality to Low, Detail Quality to Low, UI Quality to Low, Vignette off, resync off, anti-aliasing to none, anastrophic filtering to 1x, improved clarity to off, experimental sharpening to off. If you want FPS, you can turn bloom off. However, I recommend you to keep this on because the impact is very low and it can help you a lot when playing Valorant. And for the rest, distortion and class shadows, you're simply going to turn those off as well. No time wasted, now you have the best FPS settings for Valorant. Now, let's jump back into Windows and let me show you some optimizations you can do manually. On your desktop, open your settings. You can do this by pressing Windows plus I, then go to Gaming and then Game Mode. In here, you're going to turn on Game Mode. Once done, go into the Graphics tab and then Default Graphics Settings. Here, you're going to turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling and Optimizations for Windowed Games. Then, you're going to go back and find Valorant. In here, you can see Windows has already found my game and set it to power saving. Here, you're simply going to change it from power saving to high performance. And yet, another simple trick which can give you a lot of performance. Now, to the secret source, Hone.gg. Hone is a free to use PC optimization tool which makes optimizing 10 times better. I've only shown you a few tricks, but with this app, it's a whole other level. The app contains tons of advanced optimizations which you can enable by just a few clicks. And they're all described so they're easy to understand. So basically, it's idiot friendly. Once you've downloaded the installer, the installer should appear on your desktop. Make sure to read the terms of service and if you understand and agree, press next and install the application. So now we're in the app. And again, before you optimize, you should always create a system restore point, which you can do completely free and simple and fast within home. But I already created this restore point, so I'm not going to do it. Then let's go back to the dashboard. You can see we're 0% optimized. So let's take a look at what the app contains. And as you can see in the optimization tab, we have hundreds of different of advanced optimizations. And they're all described by the short description of what each optimization does and how much it'll help your system. But this is basically a playground. You can choose to a liking and enable the ones you like. But I'm not here to waste your time. So let's jump straight into the gaming tab. In here, you can see your favorite games. In this case, it's Valorant. And as you can see, there's quite a bit in here. We have optimization presets and game settings and pro player settings. Today, we're going to focus on the optimization presets. So, in Hone, you can choose to optimize manually by watching all the tutorials, reading what the optimization does, and simply choose from there. Or, you can choose the optimization preset, which enables some good optimizations pre-made for the game you're playing. Which brings me on to Hone Premium and the free version of Hone. With the free version of Hone, you can enable 10 free optimizations and 15 if you refer your friends. With Premium, you have access to all of our optimizations. So, if you're on the free version, you can enable the basic mode or the light mode to get some optimizations within your limit. Or, you can like me, with Premium, enable the performance mode, which gives you the most amount of performance and the most amount of optimizations for your version. And as you can see, it's quite simple. You simply just press on the performance mode and press activate. And the app chooses the optimizations for you, so you don't have to worry about anything else. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, we can see that our optimization percentage has increased to 52%, which is a whopping improvement from what we started with. And if we go to the optimization tab, you can see a lot of optimizations has been enabled. So, this is pretty good. Now, let's go to the boost up tab. This tab contains a ton of different cleaners, which will help lighten up your system. In this video, I'm going to enable the Discord Cache Cleaner and the Discord History Cleaner as a first. And again, it's very simple to use. You simply find the one you want to use, enter it, and press on boost performance. And then Hone does everything else for you. 
Now let's scroll back to the top and enable the junk cleaner. This basically cleans everything overall in Windows, which could be temporary update files or just general junk. So now we've optimized our system, cleaned our system and optimized our game. And this is basically the three main components to improving your FPS fully in 2024. I always feel the difference in an instant. The game feels much more responsive and smooth. If you'd like to know more about Hone, you can go to our website www.hone.gg or join our Discord and ask our community and staff team. Other than that, if you enjoyed this tutorial and video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and you guys have a good one.